I watched Arcane, a cartoon taking place in League of Legends universe, and I have to say I'm quite impressed. Possibly the emotional impact, more likely that I've managed to blitz it in about a day or so. Was kinda hard, not gonna lie. Arcane is one of those irritating cartoons where you can predict the story just well enough to skip scenes, yet also unpredictable enough that some detail is inevitably missed and you have to re-watch it to make sure you're not forgetting something. Arcane shares the same role as Dota, Dragon's Blood, Warcraft Movie, and the recent Warhammer Plus app, and that it is an attempt of the IP owner to branch out their favorite cash cow into other mediums, likely inspired by whatever satanic shit Disney's doing with its intellectual properties. More often than not, these attempts crash and burn horribly, never to be mentioned ever again, but in case of Arcane and Dota, they succeeded just enough to warrant some sort of recognition, and thus a second season. And since people screamed about Arcane the loudest, I had to forgo watching the new DuckTales reboot to see what the fuss was all about. So, Arcane is a 9 episode cartoon made by Fortiche Production, and as said in Wikipedia, under the supervision of Riot Games. Remember this part for later. The story is most likely a prequel to the game, set in times when the city-states of Piltover and Zaun were unified, and we follow the story of several playable characters as they make terrible decisions that make everyone's life miserable. Mind you, I've never played League of Legends before, AOS genre or MOBA or however you want to call it isn't really my cup of tea, partially because the tea is cheap and probably has more formaldehyde in it than actual tea leaves. Most of my knowledge about LOL's world comes from reading the wiki, so for me Arcane represented not only a cartoon but also a chance for me to engage with the world of Runeterra. Well, remember that part about the supervision I've mentioned? Yeah, you can physically feel it in every frame of the show, starting from the opening song made by imaginary dragons of all people. Rarely have I seen a cartoon that is so utterly formulaic and devoid of creative vision. Oh sure, creativity was used to make it, and I doubt that those animators weren't trying to be creative and write game sweatshops, but at the same time, the algorithmic spirit of it can be felt starting from the plot alone. Now, tell me if you've seen a similar story before. Two sisters, Vi and Powder, are growing in the slums of the Undercity under the watchful eyes of their big, burly, father figure who also rules the slums underbelly until one of their heists goes wrong, starting a cascade of cock-ups that culminate in big burly father figure as well as their friends die, and Vi and Powder getting separated. Vi getting imprisoned, Powder getting adopted by the evil brother of the big burly father figure, and then getting groomed into Jinx, an unstable person that likes explosives. Meanwhile, a protege of a noble family named Chase invents a magic doodah that at first important people dislike, but then with the help of another interested person, Victor, they prove that the magic doodah is cool and worth investing into. The two become close buddies that created popularized magic punk conventions called Hextech, all while a politician grooms Jace into a political tool while Victor is dying. Somewhere in the middle, all these and supporting characters collide as everything around them goes to shit. So yes, the plot is pretty formulaic, and anyone with any sort of experience in watching media for a living likely won't find the writing to be that much impressive. Everything is not only predictable, but is telegraphed in a way that only the most tragically brain-dead won't figure out. But is it bad, though? I'd say no, it's actually pretty good for what it tries to be. The graphics are pleasant to look at, every frame of it looks ready to be used for wallpaper, the characters aren't original, but they are certainly sympathetic, and the show definitely knows how to make them more than just one trait. Uh, hell, some of these traits are even shown visually, not verbally, which is great. Music is a mixed bag, I can't say it's bad, but like everything else about the show's production, it feels very carefully picked as the most USA teenage rebellious thing currently available, and at the same time isn't Moon Man or about defunding the police. So to sum this all up, Arcane is a good example of what happens when the developer cares about their world, a show created if not with love, then at the very least a very good understanding of what it wants to show to the audience. League of Legends fans have gotten something I wish Warcraft movie was, and it shows that the best way to make a game adaptation is to make it not about the game, but rather the setting in general. At the same time, it's an indulgent, soulless piece of media created by one of the largest corporations out there to attract new audiences to their IP, and that they did well, but I doubt that many of you will remember this cartoon a year or so without constant marketing stimulation, similarly to how most of these big blockbusters inevitably end up. Mm -hmm.